the transfer window has just shut. Um, we we made our biggest uh, biggest sale ever of the club. It was that man Timmy Barrett? I finally I finally sold him, and we added a few extra little players to our squad just to strengthen it nicely. And we we might play Blackburn in the FA Cup, and I might actually record all of it today. We'll see, eh? Hi guys, what are you? Welcome back. Episode 68 of Oldham to Ohm. And yes, transfer window has shut. It is the 1st of February. We're still top of the Premier League. We're still flipping undefeated. Seven draws, though. We're drawing a few more games, uh, but... We are eight points ahead of Arsenal. They have a game in hand, so they win it. It's only five. It's still pretty, pretty tight. But the fact we have not lost a game and have a goal difference of 38 is absolutely freaking amazing. I still cannot believe it. Let's let's run through some few, th few things. We still have uh, some transfer budget, but the window's shut. Uh, we lost out on a few signings towards the end uh, as as happens, uh, we should probably go through some of those players. Now, we had some bids comes in at Eunice here as well. He had some bids. I've now promised to sell him if we get 39 million. Probs not going to happen. I don't know what I've done there. Did I just... Hmm, interesting. Do we... Position. That's better. Uh, other than that, Jimenez, um, Leipzig came in for 16 million. Now... If he wasn't playing so well this season, I probably would have pulled the trigger on that and sold him. Um, Juventus came in for uh, Signorni and on loan. And I was like, mm, as if. Um, we tried to get um, Anthony in. Uh, he, he's 30, but uh, he's, you know, winding down his career. But I just thought he would be good uh, just to give us a little bit of extra, um, you know, winger action. But it fell through. Uh, as did a couple of other ones, which we are sort of keeping an eye on. But we probably will. A couple of young kids there. We might pull the trigger for them later. But uh, the transfers, the players out, that is the one that is most interesting at the moment. And uh, oh, no, we've gone the wrong way here. And uh, that man, Timmy Barrett, has gone to Crystal Palace for 18-odd million. Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Once again, he's not he, he, technically he's having his best season with us, but that first season where we had 11 assists was great, but he still didn't average over seven, which tells me he's inconsistent. We, we, we made 15 million on the kid, so, I mean, that is nothing to be sniffed at. I mean, it doesn't say he's inconsistent here, but, you know, I beg to differ. But we finally let him go. I think he's not going to improve the team, and... He scored three goals in 73 games, which for a guy who was playing mainly on the right and as, as an inside forward, isn't that great? So, Tim Barrett, you're a pretty good servant, but in the end, I think we need an upgrade, which obviously I didn't upgrade. So, um, Robson Brown has gone on loan to Bordeaux. There's a reason for that. Uh, he's, he's, he's dipped a bit. He's still inconsistent, injury prone. I don't know if this guy's ever going to be uh, what we wanted him to be. Six appearances, 6.66. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not going well for him. But hopefully he can go to Bordeaux, uh, get some games under his belt, and get his career sort of back on track. Now, uh, players in, we signed three. Um, yep, two from the same club because first one, this um, Ruthers guy, he wanted, um, he basically wanted a buddy. So I had to sign a buddy as you do. So, you know, uh, he's come in for 11 million. He is a centre back. He is that centre back who can cover up for, um, for Robson there. Can also play DM, can also play pretty much anywhere really. But I think he's mainly that centre back. Yes, he's not the tallest in 182, but he does have some good stats all around. I like the determination, the technique, and I like the fact that he can fill in here as well. So still a little bit of room to grow. Um, 22 years old, comes in as a squad player, and I think he can I think he can do a good job for us as a squad player, which is what I need him for, really. Um, his buddy, Eduardo Lima, came in, future prospect, uh, 18 years old. Probably not going to be that good, but whatever. That sign a buddy. It was him. We did try and get another guy in, but there was complications, so we might move for him uh, at another time. And then the last guy in just just cropped up here, um, Rares Parasea. 
Um, yeah, Raj Kassar, uh, 21 years old, playing in Romania. I don't know how this guy was still playing in Romania as a Romanian international. Uh, he can play in the midfield, up front, um, but we, we might actually, you know, because this is what I like doing with, with all these guys who come in. We are going to train him as a Secunda Volante on attack. Um, he has the right stats for that. It's good finishing, first touch, long shots, his passing, marking is not great, tackling isn't great either, but, uh, and these ones here could probably work on here, but I think he, you know, once again, he fills that spot, costs us three and a half million, he's already worth 30, and he's got room to grow, so Parseya, that's probably not how you say it, I might have to check that one, but anyway, so he's come in, so there are three signings there, um, you know, sort of down that spine, which was a bit of a blow, because obviously Barrett went, we are going to be a little bit height on that right side of the midfield although what i should have done because i bet you i could have recalled uh rc back from his loan that would have been good how has he been playing mm, yeah okay not too bad anyway that's where we are let's go and have a look at the schedule uh, a lot of a lot of chit chat here we actually lost the game in the um Carabao Cup, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, we drew, we, sort of, we, we, we had a shocking December. We drew one all with Wolves. Uh, we lost to Man City, which was, actually, to be honest, it was a good fight back because we were down 2-0 and we came back 2-all and then they scored in the 91st minute, which was a bit of a, a blow. Uh, a good 3-0 win over Burnley was great. Another one all draw. We love a one all draw, by the way. Uh, another one all draw with Man City. Crystal Palace, we beat 1-0. Everton, the FA Cup, fourth round. We absolutely smashed them, smushed them. 4-0, 2-0 over Luton Town, 1-0 draw with Burnley, and a 5-1 crazy, crazy game against West Ham. Uh, we've got Brighton today, and we've got an FA Cup here against either Blackburn Rovers or Manchester United. Um, I don't know why it says Brighton and Hove Albion, because that's not right. But um, then the game after is Wolves. So we'll see how we go. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to play Manchester United again. I don't know if we'll play that. I don't know if we even get two games because of the, the chit-chat um, that I've been doing. But as you can see, we've, we've not got a lot of the season left. Um, and, I mean, it's obviously, let's Europe. We're just, we're just motoring through this, which which was the point uh, at, at this point. Uh, we do have a few injuries, actually, which I'll, I'll I'll just show you here. Some some pretty gutting ones. We've had a bridge ball out for a while. Magnus Norman, he's out for five months with a broken ankle. He was just coming to me again saying, hey, can I move? And I said, um, yeah, sure, if someone comes into you and then he broke his ankle. Uh, Stefan Sorensen, he has also got a broken ankle. What about that? Going around four to five months for him, which is so gutting because he was just, just getting his season on track here. 20 appearances in the league, seven goal contributions, uh, and looks pretty good in the uh, cup competition as well. Gutting that he is injury prone, and the problem is with his injuries is that, you know, they can be quite big. I mean, this is, uh, you know, we've got six weeks, five weeks, four weeks, three weeks. Um, so it can be a little bit of a gutting a uh, bit gutting there. Of course, we've got st abdominal strain from Galvez. So we've lost two right wingers. So I'm glad that I bought, you know, basically players who play in the middle of the park because we're nice and short on that right-hand side. But uh, I think we've got enough about us to get, to get around any sort of problems that we have there. Uh, I'm probably going to root selling Timmy Barrett, I think, at this point. I don't think... I mean, I don't know... We, we don't talk about we don't talk about what can happen there. We're not talking about that. We're going to go and play Brighton. Um, no, let's have a look at the team to play Brighton. We've got Bergstrom and goal. Chris get right back. Bellman, Felman, and Lands uh, across the back as well. Lafiti, Rajic, uh, Giorgio, Chakomeka, Alberts, and Ida. Uh, as you can see, we've got some tired players here as well. Jimenez, Bushball, Signorni, and Musa aren't going to feature, obviously, along with those injured players. Uh, Ilinov and Kuna are also um, not quite match fit, but okay to be on the bench. I also recalled Ortega from his loan instead of signing another right back because uh, I thought he's two and a half stars. He's got a lot of potential. He's consistent. Let's let's get this guy back. Blackburn were playing him as a central defender, which he's not with jumping reach of eight. So I thought he's a right back. Let's get him back. So we played for Argentina twice, which is nuts mind you so get him in and uh, and we go from there so 
But that's how we're rolling today. Let's go and play Brighton. And we have um, Pas new boy Pasea on the bench. I've got this number eight jersey sitting there, and I'm like, ooh, who to give it to, who to give it to? And I just, I'm, I'm not giving it to anyone because no one's come along and it's been that uh, that player who really just, you know, really just screams out that number eight jersey. It's mine. Um, we've still got Alexis McAllister. Uh, we, 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 should, we should be winning this game. We really, really should uh, be winning this game. Here we are, look at that, absolutely outstanding form. Just a draw recently, we look good. Adam Eater's obviously playing up front because we've got the injuries are killing us. Brighton uh, coming off a win with two draws uh, recently. They've still got um, Casado in the team, which is a, a bit of a shock as we will encourage the boys straight up the back. Brighton at 12th, so it, um, this is definitely, and, and the board and the fans thought we should win this game. So maybe that's, maybe we lose. Speaking of the fans, let me know, because I, I also haven't asked you to subscribe or like this video, so do that before you do anything else. Um, but also let me know, like, the thing with the fans, the fan rating, the fans rating that you get is just ridiculous. Like the board at the moment giving an A+. Plus. As you can imagine, we are top of the league and undefeated. But the board, the board, sorry, the fans, mind you, are like, yeah, B-. minus, B-, minus. like, what else do you want from me? I can guarantee when we get in, Giorgio, when we get to the end of this save, whatever that might be, <clears throat> when we've won Premier League, Champions League, we'll do, we'll do a quadruple. I mean, forget that. We will win the five trophies available in the season. And I'm including the Community Shield in that. We will win all five of them. And the board will be like, yeah, probably just a B or a B-plus rating. And it's like, what do you want me to do to get better? Board, players, fans, 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 fans. Words, words are hard, but the fans are just so, so hard to please. I don't even know what, what, what more can I do? Maybe they want me to do better in the Carabao Cup. I, I don't know, but anyway, this game is going well. We're one nil up. Brighton, oh my god, Bergstrom might as well go home at this point because he's not even needed because. I haven't even got down our half. Have they have they even gotten in our half of the field yet? I mean, surely they must have. Lafiti swoops in a corner. Fenlon back to Chakomenka. He drives forward, has a pop. Uh, I did swap uh, Fenlon. Bellman is on the right now. I have that because the right side defender is this guy at corners, and he has 20 jumping range. So that's why he's there, even though he's left-footed. But... I think he's also right-footed as well. I mean, he obviously has a right foot. Otherwise, he wouldn't be out here. That would be weird. Anyway, I'm just talking so much because I'm that confident in the games that we're playing that we we just look so good. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the players clicking. Um, but can't he chuckle Menko as well? Oh, my God. That guy is amazing this year. Eight goals. He's got, I think he, he must have almost the same amount of assists. And all I did was just tweak a little, a, a few little rolls. Absolutely nuts. Anyway, we are, um, I am talking a lot in this video, an absolute lot. Not going to be a lot to edit out. We are going to make some substitutions. Uh, that's good that our right winger is tired, but that's all right. We'll bring uh, Ilyanov on because he is training. Uh, for that right hand side, um, Albert's on the left is also tied, so that's handy. Um, and um, Chuck Wamenka, um, Lanz is also looking a bit, little bit pooped as well, uh, at left back. So we will actually take him off and do a strop swap with Chris to give Ortega a bit of game time. We should probably have a look at our two new signing, uh, Ruthers and Pasea, who, I um, mean, Ruthers. Marcelo has played a game, but uh, he probably needs a little bit of, a little bit more game time. We do need to take Chuck Mick and Alberts off. So uh, let's get um, a say on in that shadow striker role, which is not the ideal candidate I'd like out there. And Ruthus on for uh, Rajik. Um, that's for. We can take Alberts off, really. Can we? Can we do that? We can take Alberts off, I guess. 
And there's five substitutions straight off the bat. Just like that. Just no concern for injuries. Just. I mean, Brighton well, they finally had a shot on target, but they, they've got nothing on us at the moment. We are just steep. It's like we're just so confident and so assured of how we're playing. It's oh, Jeff's kiss. Beautiful. As we wind down the clock here. Bergstrom on a 7.1. Was he going to 7.1 for? I mean, this is the first attacking play we've seen from Brighton, and probably because I've made five substitutions, but... I mean, they're, they're in here, though. Oh, what a save. Lucas Bergstrom, surely. Oh, he goes up 0 0.1 for that. Come on. Come on. I mean, that was Brighton's first shot on target. Too many substitutions here. This could cost me. As Brighton now trying to get the ball into the box. And they do. But it is headed over. Bergstrom keeping a clean sheet would be good here as well. But which highlight after highlight after highlight just Snap, snap, snap. As Brighton on the attack again. And we've... Oh, Ortega. Good block. Goes down this right. Poofs a long ball. Uh, Rushworth now, the Brighton goalkeeper. And Brighton now. Pats and Dakar out on the right. But Krisic, too easy. And Bellman, it's a poor clearance. And um, Pinamonti has scored for Brighton. And that was a poor clearance from Bellman, I believe, if we just... Watch the replay here. Krisic does great work. And Bellman just... Yeah, that's that's poor. Should it 23? Who's 23? Adam Eder. Mm, yeah, I mean, five substitutions is probably going to do that. If we bottle this and draw this two all, I'm going to look like a right mug here. Ben one now. Krisic down on the left-hand side. Good ball to Adam Eder. We get another one here. Oh, Adam Eder. If they score now... Oh, Ben Lund. Krisic hoofs it into the midfield. This is wide hoofing. Wide hoofing. They're in again here. They're in again. Bergstrom, Bergstrom, Bergstrom. I've got a corner. I am so good at this game. We're an awesome team. Blah, 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 blah. Throw away a 2 0 lead. Brighton have really come back into this game and have the better XG. So Bergstrom probably deserves his seven. Uh, a little bit disappointing there with uh, some of the central defenders in the end, but uh, we did enough and that's all that matters. And there's my team talk. Exactly what, what, what's, what's there. We weren't at our best, but we got it done. I always love to see what the fans say here. Good result, keep them coming. So proud, fantastic, well def defended well. Did we defend well? Um, Yep, Pereira makes his debut. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to be very successful very soon. Mm, okay. Um, okay, all right. Calm down, calm down. Right. Looking good. Looking really, really good. And there it is. We win, obviously. Some debuts. 26 unbeaten. Oh, my God. It's so, so crazy. So, so crazy. There's Khan. We're talking about Khan and Chuckle Mink. 100th league appearance as well. Four of them, 17 goals. And to be fair, there he is, seven and seven, sorry. Uh, he did get uh, one in the cup, but uh, 14 goal contributions, five player of the matches. This is best season by far with us. But I still can't believe we got this guy in a free, and I don't know why this is here. It's a, it's a bug, but... Um, oh. Also, we've got a cap for Austria as well. Forgot to point that out. But got to point that out. Right, guys, we are just going to leave it with the one game there. Um... So far, I think it's, uh, we're, we're already almost 19 minutes into this video. There was a bit to, to catch up on. And, uh, yeah, you've already seen me play pretty much all these teams. Have you seen me play Wolves? I can't remember. I would, no, you didn't see me play Wolves. But still, anyway, I'm going to go away. And then once again, a whole host of games. We might have an FA Cup. I oh, forget, like, quarterfinal, semifinals, FA, FA Cup. So we'll come back. Somewhere here, and then one more to wrap up for the end of the season. Anyway, guys, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you've watched all this way, if you could subscribe, it would mean a lot. Smash that like button, and I will see you guys next time.